Hi there, so today we got a 991.1 Turbo S uh, to develop our product for it. We got the car on short notice, so actually this video will be a little bit shorter than the previous uh, episodes. But we decided to do a video because the car is so amazing um, and we wanted to show you that. Okay, so now we already finished both runs, uh, stock and tuning. So Danny, how does it look? How are the values? Um, the car got a little bit more power in stock um, than claimed, around 15 horsepower more, so 575 horsepower now, um, and uh, around 800 newton meters of torque. After tuning, after several uh, new software files, uh, we managed to increase the torque at the beginning. Uh, you can see here straight from, from, from low RPM to, to mid RPM for about 100 newton meters of torque. You can see that here from 800, around 800 to uh, 900 newton meters of torque. And the power peak is in somewhere around here. And we increased that to 615 uh, horsepower from 575 stock, uncorrected values. Um, maybe you can explain why in this case you're talking about the engine horsepower values instead of the norm values? Yes, um, you don't correct Porsche values for newer generation ECUs mm -hmm. because they're doing the correction automatically into the ECU. So if you do it together on the dyno, then you would correct the values two times. Oh, so okay. that's why you don't correct uh, values for Porsche engines. That's good to know. Okay, so I would say let's get the car on the road and see how it drives. Let's go. Okay, so we're almost at the Autobahn to test the 100-200 acceleration. I would say let's start with stock, yep. because we, we set the car back to stock performance anyways. Um, yeah, and I'm, I'm kind, of, kind of interested what the time will be. I think it will be faster than the E63, actually. I have actually no idea and I'm Pretty excited about the 100-200 measurement. You have to make sure to get the Q Stars box. <laughs> yeah, sorry for the <laughs> shaky picture. Maybe, as we said, it's a compact video this time. <laughs> okay, it's faster. 6.7, my friends. 6.78 in stock. In stock. And that is was fucking first, insane. First try. I mean, that is uh, already faster than the E-Class in stock. Yeah. So tuned, tuned E-Class was 7.4 and stock 991.1 Turbo S 6.7. Yeah. That is ridiculous. Yeah, actually, I think you always have to remember, of course, the E-Class, the E63 is a very impressive car, but it's still a huge and heavy sedan, and this is just a sports car from the ground, and it's one of the most extreme versions of the sports car, so this just makes a difference, as you can see. Okay, so chip is on uh, map 7? Not yet. Don't uh, push the gas now. Now we are on map 7. Ja, hör auf mit dem Scheiß. Ich höre, also. Ja. Das Ding liegt in der Kurve, das ist schon unmenschlich. Ja, ich hätte mich auch mit wenigen anderen Autos jetzt getraut, vor dem Audi noch rauszuziehen, aber mit dem weiß ich ganz genau, Allrad durchstümpelt, passt schon. Okay, so let's see what it does with how much? 615. 15 horsepower. I'm not sure if you can see it on the camera because you shaked again like <laughs> you were 70 years old. <laughs> but um, we managed to get a 6.39. So all in all, almost 0 0.5 seconds faster. 0 0.4 seconds, sorry. Near 10%. I think it's like maybe 8% faster or something yeah. like this. And you have to be realistic with a car which is this fast stock. You don't just get a like 5.0 number because you would probably need like 300 more horsepower to get this. So this is a pretty good time in my opinion. But, uh, if you compare it to the E63, it's around one second fast now. A tuned yeah. car against tuned car. Um, with a car which has uh, I think 
how much, almost 100 horsepower less with tuning than the E63 with tuning. Yeah, so pretty good times. Um, guys, that was it. We want you, this would be a compact episode and see you in a few weeks.